Hey guys, what is going on? Alex here, this time with a game review of Rescue 2013, uh, made by Rondo Media. Uh, the same guys that made also the Airport Fire Department Simulator 2013. As you can see here, it's kind of an RTS uh, top-down view. Uh, you have firefighters in your uh, station, you manage the station, you have different... Uh, different rooms here you see on this screen you see the uh, stats of each one uh, character traits and uh, whatnot and here you can also assign different tasks to the firefighters uh, which i'm doing right now i sent them both in the cantina where they are going over there um to eat something and you can also uh, buy different things for the room so uh, since this is a demo it's uh, rather limited i would assume there's probably more coming as you uh, progress but what i'm going to do now is uh, for the tool room i'm gonna buy a tool bench which helps to keep apparatus and uh, equipment in shape and then as you can see here you just uh, place it as you are it's uh, pretty much like a titan game when it comes to that stuff um you just buy your stuff you place it um you can turn it around then you just place it wherever you want uh now we see the firefighters go into the uh, kitchen and have something to eat here real quick that part reminds me a little bit of the sims 2 um graphic wise as well as um well, I guess graphic wise it's more Sims 3 since it's uh, three dimensional but the overall quality of the graphics now in this part here you see the two firefighters are actually working and uh, keep an apparatus in uh, in check and as you can see here there's different uh, little and here you can see little events popping up and depending on what you choose to answer um, he will either lose or gain character points or moral points now this is the first uh, call out from here you get a quick review of what your mission is going to be in this case it was a fire on a, in a harbor in a container depot of, in a harbor and um, this is where you assign the personal to your apparatus and where you send the apparatus out. There is no animation or anything. Um, it just, as you can see here, the apparatus arrives immediately. Um, there is a very limited time for you. In this case, uh, I think it's two minutes or two minutes 30 until the mission is lost now these uh, orange little status bars there where you can see that the fire gets stronger this actually reminds me of uh, older game um, fire department some of you guys might remember that one it had the same system as you can see here the firefighters are getting out and they have two different uh, hoses they have uh, supply hose as well as uh, attack holes and if you know German apparatus then you know that you don't have their attack holes directly attached like we have it just to pull it out of the side um, you actually has to put you have to put down a distributor and then hook up your hoses to it and this is simulated in that game too but what you see here is uh, something that I thought was very annoying um, I clicked on a completely different uh, on a completely different position on the screen however um, he decided that he doesn't want to go there and now I'm gonna tell them both to get attack hoses well I wanted to tell them to get attack hoses so now they are getting attack hoses and you're gonna see what after they get the hoses they stand inside the vehicle which makes it really really hard 
to select them. So this is another thing that's rather annoying and especially I found it annoying in missions later on where time is uh, of the essence. So now I'm trying to select them, I select the vehicle and I have to see how to get those two guys to hook up to the to the uh, Y. Now they are hooked up to the Y and I can actually get them to attack the fire. And as you can see it doesn't take much to extinguish the fire. This is also reminds me a little bit of uh, fire department. So the mission is accomplished at this point, uh, you get a little uh, summary of the mission and how much money you made and then you are back. Now I skipped here right away to the last, um, to the last mission of the demo uh, which is as you can see NBA uh, uh, multi-vehicle multi -vehicle accident or multiple vehicle accident and uh, you see the little uh, cards above the heads of the injured which is uh, the triage system they go triage green to black uh, where black is obviously he's gonna pass and no further um, help is, is uh, advised on that one now you're gonna see here right away the most annoying part of it all and where this game loses in my personal opinion the most points is as you can see here in a little bit I'm going in to get uh, now you're gonna see it here right away he's going back to the hospital now uh, what's nice about this part is they bring the injured to the hospital and actually come back where you assigned them uh, like to the area that you assigned them originally when they arrived the first time so you don't have to worry that they stand just there at the side of the screen and you need to bring them back so that's that part is nice I gotta say and you can see a little bit here of the graphics too uh, I mean the hydraulic lines go to the jaws of life and yeah here you can see how the ambulance comes uh, back on its own to the area that I assigned it originally so that's very nice Now they have only two different answers that they have. One is yes, the other one is affirmative. And uh, this gets rather annoying. In a hurry, actually. Which reminds me a little bit of uh, Emergency 4 in this regards. And also, I mean, this part really reminds me of Emergency 4 graphic-wise and as well as uh, the apparatus that you have. Now comes the really annoying part which pretty much made me rage quit and this is why I if I would have to give this game stars it would only get mm, three out of yeah three out of five maybe even just two out of five because it was a frequent problem with uh, collision boxes but this one here right now is uh, after 14 minutes of this callout, this happened. And I just leave you with the pictures here and you can imagine how enraged I was when I realized that yeah, they are glitched out and there is no way I can get the um, I can get the injured person into the ambulance. And therefore, I wasn't able to uh, finish this mission. Now, overall, graphics-wise, hmm, 
yeah, it reminds me a little bit of Emergency 4, which is sad considering this game is from 2013 and uh, Emergency 4 was released way, way earlier. So overall, I can just say, as I said, I give it... Uh, Actually, I give it 2 out of 5 stars, because, uh, well, for one thing, it was advertised as uh, being the English version, and I could not find an English version to save my life. Uh, the graphics are not up to par for this day and age, and the collision box made me rage quick. So, thanks for watching, guys, and God bless.